Okay. Okay, we got some stories. Just double checking stuff because people like to take stuff. So, we're going to do a little bit of pre trip down on a new truck. This one doesn't even actually fit that. I wonder if I should just. It's gone this. It's missing its O ring. What the hell? That fits good. All right, that doesn't make any sense at all. So, do your pre trips, folks, because other people suck. Okay. Remember this truck? Notice the fuel cap's open. I did that. Let's go down to the new truck. That costs way too much. You gotta have some balls to touch any rig, or you just gotta have no brain. Definitely you gotta have no brain and big balls to touch, honestly, trucks like this. Cause I wouldn't touch one. I don't even like driving it if somebody lets me drive their own truck, you know? But check this out. So I'm getting ready to go do a little bit of towing right now. I have only used this truck once since I made that video doing the oil change. And this, somebody's asking about this thing. It is just the box off the first gen. I just painted it and uh, I wanted to see what it looked like on there. It's too heavy to keep on there. But I took this thing, I delivered a chassis to one of my buddies and I went and stopped and grabbed tacos on the way back and I was fueling up right now with off-road and then I noticed what the hell it's gone there's normally a nice green cap right there so I snagged the one off of my 04 before I pop that on there I'm gonna go see if I got another donor second gen one because second gen and third and apparently cap chassis ones run that same cap but somebody stole the cap off this thing and I know I didn't leave it on there because I have not fueled up in a while and the video showed it still being on there the last time so i got half a tank so i haven't filled up 300 miles and that thing was on there when i made that oil change video putting the new latches on so let's go down check see that truck doesn't have one all the 5500 over there doesn't have one and then the fortune they have that goofy plug thing you got over from amazon correction late second gens have good easy one so i'm gonna have to order one from a 404 that's kind of cool that was in there well we're all top locked and ready to go for fuel uh i know they didn't get out of that one because you know, the hose better double check but good thing the 04 has got the correct one really throwing a wrench in the freaking plans today and it's all tucked in there like it was so buddy ryan let me borrow his 23 to make that video of toe testing. Uh, his truck broke down. Not because the truck actually failed, but because rodents got into it. So we're going to go pick that up right now. So I'm going to use this truck. That one's already hooked up to a big trailer. I don't want to take it. That's why I got this little guy. It'll fit whatever. Something longer than 22 feet will fit on here. So I'm going to snag the winch off the uh, old hoss. We got, we got moves to make right now. <sighs> make sure everything works too. Oh, so, crappy enough, he actually used my trailer the other day so that he could haul his wife's rig to the dealer because Rodin's got into it. And then he got home and realized they were in his, you know, not cheap dually. Make sure everything works. go on board battery all the time for the hydraulic jack comes on handy for that i just got a quick hookup and if i have to jump off a battery i gotta hook up to go to that just in case that shebang fails well i muted this clip because i didn't want you to hear heavy breathing and a lot of cussing but this is quite a show right here the truck is completely dead in the water has zero power to anything doesn't even have hazard lights so he mechanically neutral this thing with a screwdriver. He's rolling it down this driveway out into the street. I threw a cone out there, and that's kind of the target to get to and also keep people away from hitting us. But unfortunately, no power steering. Difficult to get this truck to crank over like we really need it to. And yeah, he just ran out of momentum. So right about here, yep, that's where the truck's sitting. Blocking a busy-ish kind of road, but if there's cars on it, they're hauling the mail. 
So I hooked the winch up to it and put the winch back in gear, pulled the whole truck and trailer forward in order to get his truck quickly out of both lanes and just block the one. And got a 12,000 pound winch, arguably pulling it uphill like this and then up the ramps of the trailer that aren't necessarily mellow ramps. Probably could have gone with throwing a snatch block in this situation. A little pulley would have helped out a bunch, but we got her loaded. We're gonna get her out of the way and go down the street so that we can uh, chain down. I wonder if you gotta call like 1-800-CLARK or something now to come. Or you know what you probably need after this situation? You need to call Barn cat. Yeah, that too. Or a priest to bless your house now after this sin. <laughs> you can just like test drive like this neon Jeep up here. Okay. Well, we made it to the dealer. Uh, I've never been to this dealer, but they said they'd work on it. So here we are. Wrong way. Made up here. Made it. Coast clear over there. All right. Let's just back out in the middle of the intersection. I don't see anything. Back up. Rip your fender off. You gonna hit on you again? No. He's asking if you were single, and I said yes. He's got a kid in a moment. Ah. Thank you, Jose. Fourth gen tone to fifth gen. I don't have my new trailer yet because the, uh, well, you guys don't even know about that, but uh, little buddy's kryptonite, realistically, is it's not a full tilt. So we have to, they gotta either give us a Hellcat or a forklift or something to pull this boat anchor off the trailer because, uh, well, she don't roll worth of crap. This is new. You got the parking brake off? Yeah. Pull it. Oh. Almost there. Hit the brake a little bit. It's that ten dollar Home Depot strap. Keep going a little bit so we can pick the ramps up. There we go. There you go. Very good. Hey, did you feel good to drive your truck today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So to answer the question, yes, that is the truck that I did the tow test with the 2023 high output 3500. He's put 19 fives and I think 36 inch tires on it now. So it is kind of a monster truck of sorts. It is kind of daily, but not so much uh, tow rig. About four days ago, he took his wife's uh, Toyota to the dealership because it wasn't working and it ended up being rodent damage and they popped the hood on his dually and it was rodent damage when he got home and a couple days went by we wanted to go start it up early this morning she wouldn't she, she just crank flash stuff on the dash stuff didn't quite work and now it is completely dead it won't even uh like the batteries aren't cooked it started yesterday but just something shut off so that it won't even uh the hazards don't work or none of that but we're back to the regular broadcasted work schedule i was gonna swing by here and pick up the skid steer to haul to the job for us tomorrow with the 5500 and the big goose because it's all the same squeeze but since i already have little buddy hooked up uh my, my dad's now we're gonna grab the skid steer and put it on little buddy or we're gonna haul it to the job and then in the morning i'll grab the 5500 early swing by here and grab the mech light because he's got both the uh the main er machines at his house Hopefully he's got them all ready to rock and roll for us. Oh, the chapo. Watch out, Emma. Yeah, so we're, we're making the most of it. This is January 29th. T-shirt weather here. It's like... 70, at least.
That's why I love this trailer. Literally just hauled that dually, now we're hauling a skid steer. Go that way a little, there you go. You got more on, there you go. You got, yep, straight. See this rig tomorrow, fueled ish and definitely greased. Time to roll. Oh, boom, boom. We are at the job. I just think it is the coolest thing to have a trailer that, well, for one, technically, I would consider it as a car trailer, you know, drive over fenders, not typically a uh, equipment trailer kind of a deal, but. That gets a center of gravity. That drops it down like six inches with this format. But uh, the new trailer is on order, not to replace a little buddy, but just to further help the trailer count. Because there's a thing of limitations with this. It's fully functional. It's a trailer I've always wanted. But the ramps get in the way for certain kind of loads. And I Like today, yeah, I could take the gooseneck with hydraulic tail and all that. But... Ultimately, it's so much nicer just to use a bumper pull for a quick, quick run and to have a car trailer that's got the capacity to haul. That thing's, it's 12.8 machine only with the bucket on it. So I don't got the bucket on there so you can track like five, 600 pounds, but I got the heavy duty bumper on the back. So it puts this thing around 13-ish by itself. And then you add a mulcher head. That thing is... Uh, 3,000 plus pounds. So you got 16,000 pounds on deck right there on a car trailer. This It's got 10k axles. It's got all the rating for it. I'm not, you know, hurting anything. But uh, to have the full tilt of this would be sweet. But then at the same time, it doesn't give us enough cause to get a whole nother trailer. So if I get a full deck over, which it's already ordered, it hopefully it'll show up soon, uh, then I can hold the track chipper bumper pull because it's it weighs about 15,000 pounds uh, but today it was a little bit of a uh, go out of the way to help Ryan which is no big deal but it's definitely nice to have this trailer so I could then have to run back home to switch rigs so I could haul this mm, little buddy's hurting the black top <laughs> Run over my gun. Beware the dog. Okay, let's e explore this because I just got back. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Maybe I bumped this light or something, but it was on. But the trailer barely had enough juice to do its stuff. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I got the question and stuff as I was driving around with everything going on today about the fuel cap being gone. This was open. There's literally nothing in it. Ugh. But it was sitting like this. I don't know if I did that in a hurry because I did put one thing in there at one round. But let's explore. Okay. Everything's still in that one. If the perps came and stole stuff, let's just check these. Do I need to start locking everything? I didn't take my microwave. That's good. This is tools. All the tools are still in there. And I already checked the front one because I had to take grease out of it, but satisfying here. Man, this is the one I showed you in the video that was just taking on the water. I don't know if that was just what went into it in the beginning or what. But man, that sucks. 
freaking holes over here. I need to drill a new one. Guess I'll get on that. But uh, what a day! Man, one thing after another. So I need to transplant some of the gear out of 3500 into the 55, and we're good to go for the job tomorrow. But, ah, adventure day. Had good laughs hanging out with Buddy Ryan, but at the end of the day, shit happens, you know. Try to learn from mistakes. I'm going to uh, pop some hoods on some of my rigs and put some more sticky traps on. I'll tell you what, I got a pretty good mouse hunter. His name's Mouse, so he gets the job done. And it's a cat. You know what I'm saying? See you guys. Thanks for watching. Later.